Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss a numerical of stability of an automobile. So in the question we are given that each wheel of a four wheeled engine has moment of inertia 2.4 kilogram meter square. So this is I W. And effective diameter is 660 mm, so radius will be 330 mm. The rotating parts, uh, the moment of inertia for rotating parts is given as 1.2 kilogram meter square. And the gear ratio of engine to back wheel is given as 3 is to 1. Now the engine axis is parallel to rear axle and crankshaft rotates in same direction as the road wheel. That means the direction of rotation of wheels and the direction of rotation of the engine rotating parts that is say mass of the vehicle is 2200 kilogram the center of mass which is centroid it is 550 mm above the road height so this is small h track width is 1.5 meter which is denoted by small w now you have to determine the limiting speed of the vehicle around a curve with 80 meter radius. That means radius of curvature, capital R is 80 meter to ensure that all the four wheels, they maintain the surface contact. Now let's take, because in the question it is not specified that whether the vehicle is taking a left turn or a right turn. Let's assume that we are taking a left turn, right? So we know there are three basic reactions that are acting on all the four wheels of a system the reaction because of weight it always acts in the upward direction for all the four wheels because the weight is always acting downward right the second reaction that acts is because of the gyroscopic couple now if the viewer is at the rear end right and we say that all the four wheels are rotating clockwise. It is given that the motion is clockwise for all the four wheels and the crankshaft, right? So it is, if the motion is clockwise and you draw the vector diagram by using the right hand screw rule, we'll find that the direction of the reactive gyroscopic couple is clockwise. Therefore, the reaction because of the gyroscopic couple will be in anti-clockwise direction. By anti-clockwise direction, we mean that the reaction on the inner wheels, these are the inner wheels. If the vehicle is taking a turn like this, right, it will be the downward direction. And for the outer wheels, it will be in the upward direction, right? Now, the third component that is acting is because of the centrifugal couple the centrifugal force it acts outward and if you are watching from the rear end we see it, it seems that this centrifugal force is creating a couple centrifugal couple which is in clockwise direction so its reaction will be in the reverse direction which is again anti-clockwise so because of this we see that the reaction because of the centrifugal force is in downward direction for the inner wheels and an upward direction for the rear wheels. So condition for stability of the vehicle is this, that the reaction of both the sides of wheel, that means the inner and the outer wheels, it should be positive or it should be in the upward direction. Now for the outside wheels, all the reactions are in upward direction, so that won't create any problem. But if we see on the inner side, we see that there is one reaction that is in upward direction and all the other reactions, that means the reaction because of the gyroscopic couple and the centrifugal couple, they are in downward direction. So the condition is this, that the value of reaction because of the weight, it should be greater than or equal to the reaction because of the centrifugal couple plus the reaction due to the gyroscopic couple. If this equation is satisfied, in that case only the vehicle will be stable. Otherwise, if this value, uh, if the value of these two terms is greater than that of RW, it will try to 
overturn the vehicle on the outer side which we do not want right so we know the condition for stability it is this now we'll write all the data that is given we are given the mass of the vehicle h which is the distance of the centroid to the ground so, right this is denoted by small h radius of the wheel is a small r w the track width 1.5 meter capital r which is the radius of curvature if it is taking a turn so this is the radius of curvature i omega is given moment of inertia for the wheels moment of inertia for the engine rotating parts is ie and gear ratio is given now the gear ratio is angular velocity of engine rotating parts driver upon the angular velocity of wheels which is the driven part or the follower so the first component that we have to calculate is the reaction due to weight what is the reaction due to weight now the total weight of the body is mg so the weight because of each single wheel will be mg by 4 and its reaction the magnitude will be same but the direction will be in the upward direction we know the value of mass which is 2200 kg right that is the first part second part is the reaction due to the gyroscopic couple now we know the reaction due to gyroscopic couple is i omega omega p right because we are firstly talking about the wheels so this will be i w because of the wheels omega is the angular velocity of wheels so angular velocity of wheels will be v upon small r that is the radius of wheels and omega p that is the angular velocity of precision will be v v is the linear velocity with which the vehicle is moving upon capital r which is the radius of curvature right and because this this is the gyroscopic couple on single wheel but we have four wheels so it will be multiplied by 4 right we put the values and we get this value because we are we don't know the value of small v which is the speed of the vehicle now the reaction due to the engine rotating parts we we know there are two things one is the wheel that is rotating and another one is the engine parts which are rotating so it is denoted by the couple because of engine rotating parts is denoted by the ce now again the same formula it will be i omega that means the angular velocity of the engine rotating parts and the angular velocity of precision now the angular velocity of engine rotating parts is not given so we'll take the help of the gear ratio so gear ratio is angular velocity of engine rotating parts upon angular velocity of the wheels so we will replace omega e with g omega w omega p is the angular velocity of precision that talks about the excess of spin the change in the excess of spin it will remain the same we put the values and we get this value as 0.136 v square now the total gyroscopic couple will be the combination of both the gyroscopic couples because of the wheel rotating wheel plus the engine rotating parts now we are adding these two values because the sense or the direction of the rotation of wheels and engine parts is clockwise that means it is in the same direction had it been in the opposite direction we would have subtracted this right so we'll add this and this is the value that we get which is 0.5 v square now this is the reaction on this is the reaction on the whole system on the whole vehicle now we have to find the reaction on each outer wheel now we have already discussed that even though the magnitude of reactions on outer and inner wheels these are the outer wheels and these are the inner wheels it may remain same but their direction will differ right so from couple if we try to find the reaction it will be cg upon 2w w is what this the track width we know the value of w cg we have already calculated and we get the value and for the outer wheels this reaction if if there are like two more wheels right for outer wheels the reaction will be in the 
upward direction and for inner wheels it will be in the downward direction magnitude remains the same now the next we have to find the reaction because of the centrifugal force now centrifugal force is what m r omega p square omega p is the angular velocity of precision and this centrifugal force it acts at the centroid or the center of mass of the body so let's assume if this is the four wheeler so fc is acting outwards right and the viewer as is at the rear end the vehicle is taking a left turn right so from the rear end if we see and the coupled for centrifugal force will be mr omega p square into h h is the vertical distance between the centroid and the ground right so we put the values and we get the couple which is 15.125 p square now v is the unknown it is the velocity or the linear speed i should say that with which the vehicle should move forward to and also to ensure that the stability is maintained 